really like you know i guess we're trading you know when we get in there and then we we learn charting and that changes the game a little bit like mm -hmm. astrology is the same we sort of do have to apply and take some time and study because you're not going to get the same results without the same so I want I wanted to ask on that note, as far as learning and teaching, you know, what do you think for, for for a beginner to get into financial astrology? What would you say is kind of the learning curve, or what type of timetable before, like, if somebody like yourself is going to help me yeah, learn financial astrology or a beginner, what what would be like the timeline as far as commitment, and what could we expect to kind of have uh, as you Look, know, as far as little, modules? It's, it's a little more different now because okay. there's a lot more things like social media. We didn't have anything when i started doing this we had maybe five little blog spot websites and maybe you could subscribe to one or two things um but you really had to consume seek and you shall find it was really it was quite it was a bit enjoyable it's like someone that gets into music without the internet and have to go there you know you have to go find right. it all yourself but it was a really long journey whereas now you can speed that up a lot more because there's a lot more information there was mm -hmm. no such thing as a video nothing so all you had was words on a page right so people are a lot luckier now um mind you in saying that you, you, it's just like any kind of trading thing you do get a lot of new people coming in they're all really eager but um maybe not all the information's quite right and if you you know unfortunately if you like like anything um like people making trading videos that don't you know are really new to the market we probably will need to go back and start with the right information and build it a bit a bit like that language but in saying that i also think you need to see that it works to have a little bit of faith in it and that takes a bit but using really basic things like mercury retrograde like the market has crashed the last three or so mercury retrogrades or bitcoin you know hates the, using really basic basic astrology and also there's a little bit of, pa like in trading, we say patience and discipline and using astrology, you need to use a little bit of patience and discipline too. So mm -hmm. just applying really, so, or, you know, some people like to use the, I know there's sort of a new moon, full moon. You can use something like that, something really simple. I have a the, the kiss. My mentor taught me the kiss, keep it simple, stupid on Wall Street. And I've kind of really brought that into the astrology because I think it works well. Don't overcomplicate stuff. Start really slow, find one thing that works. And then just build on that really, really slowly. Because I think if, and the, the, because there is all this stuff out there, if you try and take 10 or 15 different methods and try and do it all at once, it's, it's going to be really, really hard. So mm -hmm. take one or two that appeal to you because you've kind of got to be interested in. And if you can see it working and just sort of stick with that. And once you've got that, then you can build a little bit on top as well. Mm -hmm. um i always sort of and i really think sticking to one or two assets like when you trade you know they say with trading get to know one or two things quite well and get quite good at it i think that's mm -hmm. sort of the same with financial astrology a little bit because if you're reading and i do have people that come to me like i've read this this um there's all these great methods like GAN or midpoints or ipos or you can't do it all at once so right. and you also like something will probably resonate with someone more than other for me like the ipo astrology resonates also the way our brain works a little bit you know some people are really data driven and like the data stuff and some people are a bit more like is that left brain right brain and certain astrology methods will probably resonate more than one or the other i'm very very left brain compared to i have a bit more of a creative process and a little bit of instinct whereas and you know um some of the financial astrology is heavily data driven you know so well, I used to start a bit in a different way. So I think work out what resonates the best, how you know your learning is and whether you want a more creative kind of fluid process or, you know, we still have to stick to the, the data, the rules. We can't make it up. That's the mm -hmm. one big thing. You can be a little bit instinctual, but you, we have to use what they've showed us through statistics works kind of thing. You know, there's certainly the, in, sure. the intuitive stuff I'm not so... Um, you know like so I'm, I'm not saying the intuition doesn't work but I, for me i really think you have to be following something that's happened in the past with statistics when it comes you don't have to but that's that would be the angle i prefer to take with it you know sure. uh, it's more esoteric i don't know the esoteric side of the market that's just not my thing i'm sure you know it probably works for some i think a few people probably got that but I, I don't really get into the esoteric side of this i like the sort of um you know, as I said, the data and the stats and stuff. So yeah, and then just go really, 
go slow. You're not going to get it in the beginning. And, um, you know, just pick one thing, like if you want your Mercury retrograde or the moon, and then just, you know, start with that and then just build on it slowly, slowly, and, and then sort of just go from there. But you have to study. That's what I will say. Like anything, yeah. like if you learn a language, like studying the market, you don't, you're like, you don't, to do it properly, like, you know, I guess with trading, you know, when we get in there and then we, we learn charting and that changes the game a little bit, like, mm -hmm astrology is the same we sort of do have to apply and take some time and study because you're not going to get the same results without the study. it's just a part of it it's just it's like sure. learning in like again it's like any kind of technical analysis mm -hmm.